Good afternoon here on Thursday, October the 24th. Oh, and Minxie is here. Hello, Minxie. Oh, I moved that over. Never mind. My muse. My muse. Uh, well, I did do uh, a little bit more. I ended up doing trash with Charles um, today. And uh, I don't know... I don't know what happened. Um, I don't see like a uh, a puncture wound anymore. Um, I don't know, but like I went to grab one of the trash cans, and all of a sudden there was like this pain that like shot into my hand, and I was like, I don't know if I screamed out or what, but. Um, I looked down and there was like this thing, it wasn't a piece of glass, it was something that it almost looked like a little stinger or something, or like maybe a, like a thorn or something, I don't know what it was, it looked kind of, it was like, I think it was like brown maybe, a little bit curved, so I don't know if there was like, because we, we have like a lot of, um, Peter calls them yellow jackets, we have them around the trash cans, I didn't see any, uh, but I, I don't know if there was maybe like one on the trash can and I squished it? Uh, when I grabbed the handle, uh, I kind of made a joke. I was like, oh, I guess the homeless people are booby-trapping the trash cans now. Uh, I don't know, but man, like, half my hand felt like fucking fire. And it's like, it, I mean, still now, a little bit, it's better, but like, like, moving it like that, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of pain in there. Still a little bit sore, a little bit, I don't know. It was not a pleasant experience, whatever it was. And it's like when I pulled it off of my uh, hand, it almost had like a little, I don't know, like a little gel in it or something. Because I, like, I thought like maybe it was blood or something, but uh, no, it was like, it was like this clear gel glue something. I don't know, but uh, so I was like, did somebody like glue a stinger? to the handle of the fucking, like, trash can? Like, what the fuck? I don't know, but, uh, yeah, that was, that was not pleasant. That was not pleasant. Um, I'm still feeling the effects, at least, like, oh, like, man, there was, there was, like, like I said, it was, like, it was, like, half my hand, because I don't, I don't want to say my whole hand, but kind of, like, it, it, it was somewhere right around in here where it stuck me, and, like, that was kind of, like, the area that was, like, you know, had, like, the burning sensation or whatever, or, like, oh, man, man, oh, man, oh, man, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, like, I don't know if it was, like, you know, a thorn, some kind of, uh, or, like, like I said, a stinger, maybe, from something, I don't, I don't know what it was, uh, but it did not feel pleasant at all, so that was fun, uh, and then there's the telltale sign that there might have been uh, raccoons in our trash cans because under the lid I found these oh, tiny, 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 tiny little pallets <laughs> and that's under the lid the lid was still on the trash can of course you know you have a hole cut in the middle so that people can throw trash in the trash can without having to lift the lid off you know um, so yeah, that was, the, the lid was still on the trash can, so you know, they climbed down through the hole, and I guess maybe tried to push the lid off, I don't know, and these tiny, tiny little pallets on the, and I assume that's them too, but that looks a little, a little less like, you know, uh, a little less like little paw print, hand print thingies, majiggers. Uh, oh, and I also got, uh, this was my picture of Lion's Lake. Uh, but I, I, uh, I got it out of the passenger seat of the, of the truck, so there's the, uh, <laughs> there's the, the side mirror in it, so I said it was a view from a trash truck, that's Lion's Lake out there, so it was really, you know, shiny and pretty today, and the, the, the clouds were looking nice, so I decided, but then there's the, <laughs> you can see the side of the trash truck, <laughs> and the, in the uh, rear view mirror there, so, but it was nice, it was nice, uh, and then, uh, oh, we went and took care of a couple more branches, uh, 
like out at Mar Park, there was a tree that had fallen over. Uh, we went and dealt with those branches because they were still, uh, the, the plumber guy was coming back and they were doing more winterizing the bathrooms and stuff, shutting them down. Um, so everybody else was kind of on that task. So Charles and I, uh, I, I got put on the dealing with the tree that had fallen over at Mar Park, you know, cutting it back so that people, it, there's a frisbee golf course out there and it was kind of blocking the, the, the one guy, he, uh, he came up to us yesterday or whatever and he's like, or he said something about, oh, you know, it's, uh, I can't putt or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Trying to throw through the, through the branches, whatever. But now he can, he can go back to putting, I guess. But, but, uh, And then there, there was some out, some out by Lions Lake that uh, we went to get, uh, and you know, throw in the back of the of the gator and took and put them in the dump truck for whenever they dump that stuff that's in there. Uh, it's more branches from the other day when Peter and I were picking some up there at Grover. Uh, but then Charles went home and. Uh, there's still an hour, so uh, I feel like oh, I took down the the laundry that was hanging up. I did that just to get that out of the way, um, and then I went up and I was going to weed eat by the pool because I mowed up by the pool the other day. Um, but there's some areas that you can't get with the mower; you have to get with the weed eater. Um, and on my way over there, um, I found some like by the curb uh, on the, you know on the outside of the parking lot so I was, I was going to take care of that and then I went to uh, turn my weed eater on it, fi it finally started I was having trouble getting it started it finally started and then the whole like thing fell out because it didn't have a cap on it so there was nothing to hold the you know there was nothing to hold the string in, so I was like, God damn it. So I didn't even check that. So I went back to the shop and got another one. Um, and then uh, I, I got that done and a little bit out, you know, around. Uh, there's like this little uh, thing, drain there. So I kind of got on both sides of the drain. And then a little bit up by the... Um, by the pool area, the entrance to the pool. It's closed now anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and then I ran out of string. I didn't think to take more string with me, so I had to go back to the shop again and get more string. Uh, I, 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 I kind of hid the the, the, uh, um, the weed eater because like, I didn't want to take it all the way back with me. I just took the little head thingy. Um, and uh, by the time I got back, He could see. He could see the weed eater. There was this guy that was sitting in his car, um, and there was as, as I was leaving to go get the string, there was another white car that pulled up. I don't know where that person went. Whatever. Um, but the person that was sitting in the red car had gotten out of his car and was now sitting on the steps of the entrance to the pool, where I was trying. I was going to weed eat. I was like, he, I mean, he, he could see my weed eater sitting there, I, I think. I don't know. Because it was just kind of sitting up against the building, whatever. Um, and it's like, you know, he saw me come back. He saw me, you know, put my string in the weed eater. And then I kind of did around the corner. And, you know, uh, like I even walked by him and did some of, some of the stuff over here. Um, and he just, he just kept sitting there. And I'm like... I can't weed eat what I was planning on weed eating now because he's fucking sitting there. Yeah, you know, like I did what I could, and then I went back to the shop. I was like, "Well, I guess that's over with." I'm just not supposed to get that finished over there, I guess. But some of it looks better now. Whatever I was able to get done, but it's like, I didn't want to get anywhere too close to him and start, you know, throwing weeds and, or rocks and everything else, you know, and it was like, I would have been right there next to him. It's like, couldn't you have stayed in your car or when you saw me come back over here with the string and 
put it in my weed eater and start my weed eater up and do some weed eating around you on both sides of you. Like maybe just go back to your car, give me a minute, or just keep sitting there so that I can't do what I was trying to do. Cool. Thanks. <sighs> so. <laughs> <sighs> that kind of, that kind of peeved me off. <laughs> kind of like, cool man, cool, whatever. Guess I'll just do it tomorrow or some other day. Who knows? So let's see what the question of the day is. Does it ask me uh, what's what was my day like at work? <laughs> now you know. Uh, someone slash something you just can't say no to. Someone, something, you just can't say no to. I would say Maxie, but I say no to her a lot. So. She loves it when Mom's here, because she's a fucking beggar. And Mom's a fucking easy target, you know? She's like, what do you want? She's like, I already gave you some salami. What, you know, what else do you want? <laughs> Minxie just sits there until whatever mom has, she puts down some for her, you know? Whatever it is, she doesn't care what it is. Whatever you're eating, I want to try. Uh, and so, like, sometimes, like, I'll let her sniff stuff. Like, she sniffed it like a million times before and it's like you're not gonna like this you don't want this but i was like okay i'll let you sniff it whatever and then of course she's like oh, how dare you you know <laughs> like how dare you present that to my nostrificals i was like your own fault your own fault um I don't really know. I don't really know. Because, uh, I mean, there's been some Funko Pops that I wanted to buy, but I haven't. <laughs> you know, some things that we've had on clearance for a while that I keep thinking are going to go down again. Um, you know, I forgot to see how many covers we had today. They're, they're not on clearance. It's the Halloween covers. They're black, but they have these little, like, kind of shiny rainbow-looking uh, ghosts on them. Um, and yesterday we had, I think, I think it, when I scanned it, we said we had 12 on hand. Uh, there was only four there, but then there was some mixed in. There's also some, uh, the c cover's black, but it has, uh, shiny silver, um, spider webs on it. And there were some of the ghosts mixed in with the, with the, uh, um, the spider webs. So, but I forgot to look today to see how many we had left, but I'll probably be up in that corner tonight anyway. So that'll help me remember to, to look, uh, not that I need another cover. Cause it's like, I mean, I have this one that basically I've never used. It's her bed. Uh, you know, I have the one that I bought for $4 that was going to be a blanket for Sean, but he ended up not, uh, mom ended up not coming down that uh, day before our vacation. And, uh, so he ended up getting to sleep in the guest room, so, but I have that, um, and, you know, I have my Snuggie over there, so it's not like I need another cover, I just like it, you know, but, uh, I don't really use covers anyway, I mean, if I do, I'm gonna wear the Snuggie, you know, of course, when mom's here, mom likes to use that cover, <laughs> so, she, she, uh, She'll use the use the snuggy thingy with the, the skull and crossbones on it. Um, so I mean, I can say no to Funko Pops. I can say no to door dashing. I've you know, uh, I I did get this SpongeBob meal the other day, but it's like that was the first time I door dashed in I don't know how long. I mean, I want to, um, but I haven't. You know. I've got so much food in there, as you all saw the other day, what I was showing you. Uh, so it's like, I don't really need to DoorDash anyway. <laughs> so, 
so I shat, shan't, um, both. Uh, so I don't really, I don't really know. Because, like, sometimes it's like, oh, I'd like to have a snack or something, uh, but I don't buy it because, you know, if I'm short on money or whatever, it's like, I better not, you know, like, um, I mean, I have a lot of snacks in there right now and other foods. <laughs> so I don't really know. I guess I can't say no to paying the bills eventually. I mean, even my utilities, you know they get to the point where they're going to shut me off, and I'm like, well, I guess I can't say no anymore. <laughs> you know, it's like, eventually, you have to pay the fucking bills. <sighs> but... can't really honestly think of anything. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And I guess I... You don't want to sit here and see me try to <laughs> try to try to think of it. Um, I, I don't I don't I don't know I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, so anyway, that's uh, the shitty answer to today's question. Uh, there you go. I'm going to eat my pizza now. Uh, my little Mama Celeste pizza that I made. And I put some... Mom left some salami here. Uh, and uh, I put I put some of that on it and some extra cheese. It's going to be so good. Probably. Hopefully. But uh, anyway. That's that, I suppose. And uh, I'll see you for what I see you. My hand might not. It hasn't fallen off yet. So it should be fine. Like... Originally, I wasn't even sure if I could, like, move it. It was a little bit, like, stiff, maybe, when I first... But that was probably just because there was just so, so much, like, shooting pain going through it. <laughs> it felt like it was on fire. But so far, still attached. Um, I may see you. Uh, my hands may not. So, whatevs. <laughs>